As explained in another video, we calculate the correlation coefficient for two variables to determine not only if the two variables move in the same direction, but also how strong the relationship is. However, as a famous phrase tells us, correlation does not imply causation. In other words, two variables might indeed move in the same direction and the relationship may be quite strong, but this doesn't mean we can draw a let's say cause and effect conclusion, with changes with respect to one variable causing changes for the other. In other words, the correlation coefficient can tell us that two variables clearly move in the same direction, but it doesn't tell us why. A pretty popular example is represented by ice cream sales being correlated with homicides in New York. Yes, statisticians may very well have noticed that when ice cream sales go up, homicides do the same, and when ice cream sales go down, homicides go down. But that doesn't mean ice cream makes people kill one another. In quite a few cases, we're simply talking about coincidences even if the correlation coefficient is robust. Or, of course, there can be hidden factors at play. In our situation, we can take a step back and notice that the weather is the hidden factor which affects both ice cream sales and homicides. Simply put, more people buy ice cream when it's sunny outside on the one hand, and more people go out when it's sunny on the other and end up representing potential homicide victims. To put it differently, ice cream sales and homicides may be correlated, but there is no causal relationship there, whereas there is a causal relationship between the weather and ice cream sales, as well as between the weather and homicides. Pretty logical, right?